Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a palette bingo and I am here with a palette bingo with some of my absolute favorite palettes and it, and it is all the Kaleidos palettes so I have five, it's the Futurism palettes so I'm going to do a palette bingo with these I love all these palettes and this is going to be so fun and I really think this can be fun but it can also be a little bit hard so it is the sci-fi green i will leave all my first impressions of the palettes up in the corner it is also cyber bronze astro pink vr neon and electro turquoise so i'm going to draw one shade from each of these palettes and then we're going to i am going to create a look with these i really hope it will be something good so i'm just going to take it out my generator one two six so in the okay how am i going to i think they start like this is the first color so it's like this is the way of the palette so if i just flip it like this so when i hold it upright the top one is the first one so one two six and from this i got number four so I got this green and I don't know if I have to write this down and I will of course swatch the color story and for cyber bronze I got number six which is this brown one and then we have the astro pink and number two and it is one of my favorite shade is this like duochrome it's blue and purple love that shade and then the we VR Neon number five. Ooh, the yellow one. And then the last one that is Electro Turquoise number six. And I think it's no, it's not a brown. It's it's this one. So I will swatch all of them. Okay, so this is my color story, and it could definitely be so much more fun. The one in astro pink, this one, it doesn't like... The finger swatches doesn't make this color justice. It doesn't, it is an amazing shade and especially like a topper. I love it over something a little bit more dark. So this is my color story and yes, it could have been so much more fun but this is what I have to work with. So I will think a little bit of what I want to do and then I come back and we just start with this makeup look. Okay, so I think I know what I want to do. I really hope that this works. So I will start with the yellow one from the VR Neon and put it in my inner crease. I never know what to call this. But the inner half of my crease. And I'm not only going to take it here, I at least think not, but I want to do two colors in my crease, so I start with it in here. And I really hope that I would get some more fun shades than this in this palette bingo, but it doesn't feel like I have any luck with my palette bingos. Or okay, it doesn't only be shimmers but not that many fun colors so something like this and then i will go in with the one from cyber bronze this brown one and put it in the rest of my crease and why couldn't I get something more fun from this palette than the dark brown? It is a nice brown though, but like, come on. It feels like every time you do a palette bingo, it is at least one shade that is like, <sighs> I could have done something so much more fun if I didn't got this shade. And for saying that, the next thing I'm going to do maybe sounds a little bit stupid, but I'm going to take the same shade and put it 
on my lid. And I'm going to take it where I have the brown in my crease. And it's nothing wrong with this brown, but it's just... Couldn't I got like this one or maybe this one? Have you ever tried any of the Kaleidos palettes? If you haven't, uh, I recommend all of them. And I feel that you can take which palette you want. Um, it doesn't matter. They all have the same quality, it's just the color stories that are different. So if you want the green, take the green. If you want uh, the reddish, take the reddish. Okay, then I'm going in with the yellow from the BR Neon and put it on the inner part of my lid. And you say, no, I have other colors. And here you can see the difference with this color to blend it out. Or just smack it on to your lid. And maybe my brush that I used wasn't so clean. I really need to wash my brushes. And uh, maybe I sh could have done that when I was sick last week, but apparently I didn't do that. Okay, so I am going to take this yellow a little over the brown. Just to have a nicer blend, but I'm also going in with the brown over the yellow. Let's see think at least or I maybe just take I will try with the brush that I had the brown on first okay maybe I need a little bit more. one thing I think is hard with a multi palette bingo is like to keep track of all the palettes but you have to have them somewhere then I go to the astro pink and I take this one I'm sorry, but I don't know the names because I I think I've saved plastic. I don't have it in the palette, so I don't really know what this is called. Sorry for that. And I'm going to put this over the brown. And I have done this before. I have put this over a black maybe only over black and I really like this as a topper shade it is possible to have it on its own but then you really like need to pack it on to have it opaque but it's like doable but it's amazing as a topper and maybe this is a little bit boring because I have done similar things like this and I think I want to take it a little bit over the yellow as well and yes I know I have a crazy amount of fallout right now but you know what I haven't done my base so no danger on the roof as you say in Swedish or in your far up pocket which translate to no danger on the roof. I have noticed that with me I like to translate things like hold your horses you can say in English and I say it in Swedish <laughs> and it's nothing that you say in Sweden Hold your horses. Hold in hester. Hold hester. Okay, so I think I am happy with the lids like this. So now we have two colors left. This one from the cyber. No, this one from sci fi green. And this one. This one from electro turquoise. I don't want to blind you. This one from electro turquoise. And I think I know what I want to do. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then I will come back and we use these two last shades and try to make this look good.
wish me luck. So, base and brows are on and for my under eyes I will start with this one I got from the sci-fi green and I will take this the whole way and I guess that you already know what I am going to do with the last shade. If you remember which one it was. So like that and for my inner corner I will take this one from the electro electro turquoise and I will spray this I did it in my first impression with this and it feels like if you're not spraying this it can get everywhere so something like that and I would put on mascara a lipstick and something in my waterline and then I will come back and we end this palette, multi palette bingo with the Kaleidos Futurism collection. So this is the finished look and now I'm like, where did I put everything? I had a pen here somewhere. Am I like that confused? Like where the fudge did it go? Yeah, here. Here it is. I have it in front of me. So for my waterline I used Fastlane from Colourpop, not the best choice ever though, but yeah. And for my lips I took Hanging Rock from Nabla. I love this so much. So this is my finished look with all the five Futurism palettes from Kaleidos Cosmetics. These are some of my absolute favorite palettes. I wish though I did would get some more fun colors. Do you want to see which colors I got? From the sci-fi green I got this green shade which I have underneath my eyes. From the cyber bronze I got this brown, this dark brown one that I have on my outer, in my crease and on my outer half of my lid. From the astro pink I got this duochrome, maybe I should hold the palette right, that I put over the dark brown shade then from where did I put you over there from the VR neon I got the yellow one which I have in my inner corners love that yellow and from the electro turquoise I got this one which I have in my inner corners and yeah that is all of the colors I got in this palette bingo from Kaleidos I like this look but I wouldn't have done it like if I didn't do palette bingo do you get what I mean when I said say that I wouldn't put I wouldn't use the brown and maybe something more fun underneath my eyes but I am happy with this look Um I want to play with these more but I really don't know what to do with them maybe I should think a little bit about that and see if I come up with something more to do with all these Kaleidos palettes so yeah that was all for this palette bingo I really hope you like it I really like doing this multi palette bingos I am thinking about doing like with only two palettes like I have two from certify I have two from Espte I got I don't like even know what I have two of. I am thinking about doing a palette bingo with Nabla. I'm not sure about that yet, but yeah. So yeah, this was all for this video. I really hope you like it. So that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!